Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hina with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through two of the Unearthed missions. And especially those of you that are beginning teams that are being overwhelmed by like the complexity of some team's robots. I'm gonna do both of those missions today with a simple educator EV3 robot. I just want you to be encouraged that these missions do not take a lot of fancy, you know, attachments, fancy giant, you know, things that just take up a lot of space. It's just overwhelming as far as building. Today, I'm going to show you the points of these missions and how you can easily get these missions done. Okay, guys. So robot game strategy always tells you to do the missions that are closest to base. Now this year's Unearth uh, Matt has two bases. So if you're looking at it like a map, I'm gonna be looking at the west base for today's video. We have mission one, which is surface brushing, and we have mission 12, which is salvage operation. What I'm gonna do is go over the point values and then show you how this mission can be done with just a simple educator robot. So let's go to mission number one, uh, surface brushing. If you can get um, either side of the sediment to be on the mat, that's going to be worth 10 points for each side. So you can do one side for 10, or you can do both sides and get 10 and 10, which is 20. And then if you can release the uh, archeologist brush or just basically remove it from the model, that's gonna be another 10 points. And so you don't have to bring it back to base. You can just have it you know, come out of the model. Now let's go to mission number 12, which is the salvage operation. I really like this model. It has a lot of cool moving pieces to it. Um, so here we go for the point value. If you can somehow release the, the sand off of the ship, that's going to be worth 20 points. It just sounds weird, like it, the other part should be 20, but it's okay. This part's going to be worth 20, and I think... They want to give, you know, teams that encouragement, like, hey, if you do this really easy one, it can be worth a lot of points. So it's going to be worth 20 points. And then if you can um, push the red uh, panel, uh, Lego panel, and push up the ship, that's going to be worth 10 points. So this mission can also be worth 30 points if you do everything. So now we know what the point values are. Let's go ahead and go to the unearth table and see how both of these missions can be done. Okay guys, so there you have it, 60 points. And it was just a fraction of, you know, the board. There's so many more points you can get and, you know, obviously you can journey farther around the board. But I would highly suggest getting at least 40 points um, from these close models because it doesn't take up much of your team's time. And I, I think they're relatively easy where you can get the 20 points from each of the models if you don't get the full you know 30 from both and that way now you can you know 
explore other avenues of your board with that two and a half minutes that you have. So you guys can decide as a team what you can do, what you want to devote the energy and time for. But today's uh, video was just to show you how to get those maximum points from both of those missions. So guys, continue to subscribe. Check in with me each day this week because I'm going to be bringing you different missions. And hopefully you're encouraged to know, hey, we can get these points with a little easy, simple robot. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I hope you guys are encouraged and continue to just, you know, strive to get more points for your robot game. And I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.